right, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and we have a smash beer. Go figure. How about that? But I have a list of hops that I gotta brew with because people want to know more about these hops, and I'm just the guy to brew it and talk about it. And so today we have a smash beer that was made with Comet Hops. So somebody out there in the internet world wanted me to brew a one gallon bash with uh, one single malt variety. I believe I've moved on to two row because I have a whole bunch of two row to brew with. And uh, one ounce of a Comet Hops for a one gallon batch. And this has a lot of hops at the end. I always now, now I'm just like, pushing it towards the uh, the end so we get a lot of the aroma um, and also dry hopping with it. So uh, if you ever want to check out my hopping procedure, you can go to our blog. I will type it all out into a post and you can see what I did for this one gallon batch. But anyway, I thought this would be good for you to taste. There's a, just a few descriptors for this hop. Uh, one's interesting, but uh, I had a bottle of this uh, a week ago when it just was ready to taste and uh, I got a very specific flavor. Oh, so the um, pressure's on. Yeah. First big video of 2018. In terms of tasting, yes. Now I gotta come up Pull big. it out. I gotta come up big. True that. So I'm going to start tasting it and you tell me what you're thinking from the aroma through the flavor and then the aftertaste. I get elderflowers. No, I have no idea what that what? is. I don't um, know what that is either. So, I love the aroma actually. I, what I get in the aroma is like a, it's almost like a, it's a sweet fleshy fruit almost, but it's, it's, it's almost like a, a subtle like a peachy cascade hops like I'm getting like a cascade mm. yep. derivative there but there is a fleshy sweet fruit quality to it um, maybe a little bit limey I don't know the flavor profile for me the flavor profile doesn't live up to the aroma <laughs> it's not bad but if it if it carried through as fleshy peach with a little bit of cascade I'd be pretty excited yeah um, yeah, I don't think there's peach in the. In the I flavor. get like um. I actually get like a cucumber skin, type of flavor profile to it. So there is some bitterness in there, and in, in like the mid palate, I'm getting some bitterness. Yep. Um, but it, there's a lingering. So I guess I would say that there's a, a bit of a resiny, piney thing going to it. Um, but the flavor, if I had to pick a flavor out of it, there's a little bit of a cascady thing there, but it's more, piney. Maybe that's where I'm getting the lime. Well, would you associate with Cascade yeah. though? Well, grapefruit, grapefruit. Yes. Yeah, that's what I got. I got a real pithy grapefruit. Yeah, the pithiness is yes, really. Yeah, that's what I got. I think because of the aroma, it's driving me more towards like liminess, or maybe it's because over the holidays I was just drinking a, sh a lot of lime-based mixed beverages. <laughs> um, Margaritas for you, maybe. Um, Dark and Stormies. Dark and Stormies. And Mules, Moscow Mules. Got it. With lots of lime juice. In fact, it got to the point where it was just lime vodka ju and lime juice, which is a gimlet, and I love gimlets. That's for a different <laughs> channel. This is good, though. I like this. Gimletdudes.com. All right, cool. So, is there's a unique descriptor in there somewhere? No, the uh, grapefruit was the okay. one I pulled out. Okay, I'm happy it, with that. To me, it, it felt like, as a kid, eating yeah. grapefruit at the breakfast so table. So I pulled the Cascade thing out of it. Yeah, I it's think that's what you were cascading. saying. Yeah, so that's why but I it's was... Cascade with a little bit of a intriguing edge to it. Mm. Like, I really do get, like, a, maybe a slightly underripe, fleshy stone fruit. Like a, I'm, for me, maybe I just got peaches on the mind, but like a, maybe like a white peach. You love peaches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give the people I like a good peach. idea of what it is. You know? I've never had a white maybe, peach. Maybe it's more tangerine than peach. Mm. Um, so, all right, so let me tell you what the the uh, descriptors I found online say. Um, grapefruit, grassy. Are you getting any grass? That could notes? be the yeah. That is the resiny. The 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 linger is a little bit of a, a grassy yeah. cucumber skin. That there type of like yeah. ah, 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 that like bite thing. One source, this was the interesting one, one source said, marijuana. <laughs> and I don't get really a lot of like dank. You know what, and I'm, I'm, pretty never, sure, like, I'm pretty sure they're trying. With all these hop varieties that have come out, somebody's gotta be trying to, to really 
because of that connection to cannabis, mm. someone's got to be trying to breeding more of a dank yep. quality into yep. hops that is really reminiscent of that. I could care less about that, but I mean, it's just not a flavor profile I care for is what I'm saying. I don't know. I, this is nice. I think this is almost standalone, but I think this would sing really well with some Amarillo or some Citra stuff like yeah. that. I think it would really run pretty good with yeah. that. Um, so this might be a really interesting hop to use by itself in a fruited wheat beer. Hmm. Might really make some something sing pretty good. Yeah, because it's listed as a bittering hop, so I can see this is like something you put in of at, at the beginning. There. Yeah. And then I, I think you're right. I think if you follow through with some more orangey hops, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. like you're like yeah. you know what you're saying, like even Centennial. Yeah. So as I have, you some know, if, if you can't get a hold of like some Columbus, if you yeah. can't, right? Yeah. You could. This would work. Use this, yeah. Right? And it is a C hop. Yep. It is a. C <laughs> True that. Right. So, I don't know. It's Bitter with this and do a, like a truckload of Falconer's Flight on the back end. Woo! <laughs> Telling. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we say? We say, woo! It's 2018, baby. It's funny. Um, actually, this is uh, a hop that was selected in 1961, released in 1974, and then by the 1980s, they had ceased production commercially. It's because nobody was brewing beers that would take this type of thing, I guess right? so. It's probably, this is probably a little bit too pithy, grassy, dank to use, even in small quantities, in like Budweiser. Sure. Right, yep. because they for there's rumors that for years they were using like Cascade hops for their bittering charge. Really, only because you know once you boil that long and use such a little bit to get like eight IBUs, you really can't taste any of the Cascade, right? But this is probably this is just a little bit like I've had to like smash with Cascade or just you don't get this much resin, this yeah. dankness. Yeah. Okay, but it's no like Columbus. Chinook, no, northern. It's none of that like <laughs> dank, but it's but it's it's red. It's got some some. It's yeah. got some stuff there, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's Comet hops. I would think that this is a good curveball. It's good changing it up. It's yeah, good. yeah. I think that it, it would be a nice uh, bittering hop for I like love the aroma though. I mean, you like that because it's white yeah, peach. There's something about the aroma. It's kind of nice. It's yeah. perfumey. I'd love to. I'd love to actually try to just do a huge late hopping with this and just see what what. Because that's the thing, the most of this is late hopping. Mm. Like, I just do a smidge for the 60 minute yeah. foil, yeah. and then the rest is like, I think I put some at 15, but like the rest goes at flame out, mm. and then I'll leave like a little bit for dry hopping. This and some like Galaxy or Mosaic dry hopped would probably be pretty sweet. There you go. Pretty sweet. There you go. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. All right, so that's Comet Hops. Hopefully you learned something about it. Certainly grapefruit, like, I get a strong grapefruit pith from this. It White does... grapefruit. <laughs> not, not, the, not the red stuff, yeah, right. not the pink stuff. Yeah, so I think that uh, if you like that flavor, you know, maybe uh, match it up with other hops that have different citrus profiles to get kind of this mm. cornucopia of mm. citrus flavors. But uh, certainly interesting to put, like, early in the boil um, as, like, kind of a nice... Um, I don't know. Simcoe has a danky thing going on. If um, yeah. sometimes I feel like that's too strong. If that's too much for you, this would work. Yeah, I think that maybe I'll try that. Yeah, yeah, good one. All right, so that's common hops. Like I said before, we're giving the people at home gems here, Some... jewels of information, <laughs> or at least two guys' opinions yeah, two guys. about a silly we're just two smash beers. That's right. For Don and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com. Brew on. Cheers. <laughs>